welcome back to the battle folks today we're going to be playing with the Kirishima and we're actually facing off against what I believe to be uh, the USS South Dakota I'm going to go ahead and try and recognize these guys quickly let's get radar on guys and I'm hoping that I've improved on target recognition here but I have to say I'm still pretty new and I might be getting these ships completely wrong uh, it's quite possible so I'm going to go ahead and call that a South Dakota battleship I want to make sure that we have some star shell rounds on top of that damn thing. Let's make sure to do that. Get it in our sights there. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Put on our radar. This should be, you know, pretty much a basic starting point. And then once again, target this fellow. Actually, this is one that's farther away, but that's okay. That's actually okay. So we'll have this guy firing at that fellow, this guy firing at that fellow. Although we don't have any information about him. That's got me a little worried. Um, you know what? On second thought, I'm going to switch to firing on the South Dakota here. And now, let's focus on armor piercers, especially with a ship this thick. I think AP rounds are going to be the way to go. I don't know which one is the South Dakota, so I'm probably going to recognize them both as the South Dakota, just to be absolutely sure. Um, so let's see here. Again, just to be absolutely certain, I think this is the right approach. Uh, we'll get those star shell rounds here. And let's see if the target solutions have improved for our frontal ships. And maybe they haven't. I mean, maybe they haven't. We've already got a fire going on here. 24%. Really not good. Um, but at this distance, you can see we're getting hits. Because I think we're so damn close to the enemy here. So we're firing those secondaries. Come on now. Whoa! Whoa! Starting to see those star shell rounds. That's what I'm looking for. And that is improving the target solution a bit. Definitely. So let's just keep that going. Make sure this guy is just so damn obvious to us. Although we're getting to the point now where we might want to switch over. I think the secondaries have given us a nice picture. Let's try some armor piercers. Here we go, folks. Try and sink this bastard. Take a look over here. See if the target indicator has improved on this guy. Now, another thing we have to... Oh, it has. The alt director has improved. The main director, 36%. It's still not perfect. Um, the other thing we can't forget is that these ships have torpedoes. We could actually try and fire a torpedo to sink the South Dakota. Come on, boys. Keep it up, keep it up. I see some smoke. I see some smoke. That's what I like to see. I'm going to turn a bit, though. I am turning our ship just a bit to bring those broadside cannons. Uh, I'm going to hold fire here. Try to get a full volley. Come on. Fire. Direct hit. Direct hit, guys. I think we can risk it at this distance. I'd like to get even closer, but I'm going to fire off some torpedoes here. Um, oops, sorry. Oh, we don't have it on the Kirishima, only on our other ship. Okay. And I don't think our other ship is in a position to fire right now. saw all those cannons come to bear and they just rippled right through the side there but i'm tempted now a little tempted to switch to high explosive i think i'm gonna do that because the enemy is getting some tremendous shots on us as well come on now 66 percent on the firing solution can't get much better than that
Switch over to AP. Maybe we, sorry, we'll remain on HE. It seems to be doing pretty well. But the guns are either out of range now or have been damaged. Let's take a look here at repairs. Yeah, one of the guns has been damaged. Uh, the other one is simply out of range. So I'm simply going to continue full steam ahead with him. Uh, with this ship, we're going to keep on focusing on the enemy. But we've got to go full steam ahead with him too. We just don't want to crash into this one. That frontal gun should be able to target them no matter what. Nice work. Nice damn work. Oh. Huh, it's not the usual speed button that's off. So I guess we have to go ahead and just go via formation. This works. Um, and start turning that way. So I'm going to navigate. Kind of like that. In fact, I could do way better than that. Way better. So I'm just trying to get the, the fastest turn possible, basically. I hope this works. Incredibly, um, the Kirishima is still alive. That, that I find absolutely amazing. And he's still got a pretty decent target solution, but I think only secondaries are being fired. Thank goodness for radar. Oh, and he's actually got the other ship targeted. Shame on me. Let's switch that target. It's definitely the target of opportunity right now. And 38%. Again, we could improve it with some SS rounds. Probably not a bad idea to pop them. At least with the secondary. Now, this might be a little too far for the torpedoes. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to risk the torpedoes over here. Just don't get the feeling that they would do so well. There we go, some more star shell. Looks like those frontal guns are targeting the other ship. So I'm going to try and pull them over here. In fact, I'm going to stop both detectors. Because this way I can realign that target. And yeah, it actually seems like the target solution is not as good for this one as for that one. Probably because we just have such a visual on it. Alright, let's switch to AP. I'm hoping AP would be the correct one here. And I think it would be to try and sink him. We could also try to fire Torps. But since I don't think they're going to work, I'm going to just fire two here. Oh, it looks like three, four... Okay, so it could be a group of Torps here. Will they hit the target? Let me know in the comments down below. Give me your uh, your thoughts as to whether they will get this hit or not. Just want to make sure that the Atago is getting some hits too. But if we turn, we do risk crashing into this ship. So I'm actually going to turn left a bit. He's also got some torpedoes, but I'm not going to fire those. Just give them full volleys with our main guns. There we go. Turn a little... You know what? I would love to turn. I really would. And at least our guys are keeping them pinned. But it's just not the right thing to do at the moment. Target solution is getting pretty bad. Although at this distance... Not really suffering that much, honestly. And he's still alive. That's amazing. The Karishima is still alive. Let's take a look here at repairs. Uh, there's no way that this guy can survive the battle. There's just no way. Alright, let's fire a star shell. 
Uh, we could try torpedoes here. As far as I could tell, our torps didn't hit. As far as I could tell, things could still change, trust me, but, uh... It's looking okay for them right now. They look fairly safe. Nice. Nice. Getting some visuals up there. The enemy's also popping star shell rounds at us. No doubt to make us a little bit easier to see out here in the night. And shame on me. Newbie mistake on this one. On the other two, I was fine, but on this one, I didn't hit the radar. That's why the target solution was not as good. Um, just simply wasn't wasn't as, as good. So I'm going to switch here. Let's try some HE rounds. Let's try to really light her up. See, we're fine with the Kirishima. We're fine with the Takao. It was the Atago that we did not switch to that radar. Now, he's dead in the water. He stopped. I've got to fire. I've got to fire. Because I'm thinking if he remains stopped here, the torpedoes will reach their target. Although it could be an issue of range. He's nearly 2,500 yards away. Yeah, we might not be able to tag him, but we'll see. Yeah, those high explosive rounds are hitting. The question is, are they doing any damage? Um, they could be setting things on fire, but with that much metal on a ship, is it going to even make a difference? I don't know. Oh, yeah. She's burning again. We'll just do a few more volleys of high explosive. In fact, we'll hold on this one. I'm going to turn just a bit. Fire. See, all three of those rounds hit. One, two, and three. That's a good sign. Very, very good sign. Two misses. I mean, we are just hitting them multiple times, so I'm going to have to switch to... I think it's going to be AP. That's going to be the target, or, or, or the trick here, to knock out the target. Oh! Struck by torpedo! Guys, we did get our torpedo hits. Two torpedo hits. This damn South Dakota is a beast of a ship. I mean a beast. Could probably get away with two more twerps, although, unfortunately, we're going to end up hitting our friend here, the Atago. That's not good. Sorry, not the Atago, the Kirishima. Although the Kirishima may be able to fire again soon. Yeah! Yeah! Look at that! Wow, full volleys there. Definitely a mistake by the AI. That had to be. Unless they thought that he was dead in the water. Alright. Oh man, that's the enemy ship firing at us. It could even be our ships hitting our target. A little bit of friendly fire there. I'm just amazed this thing hasn't sunk yet. Like, really amazed. We've got more star shell rounds in the sky than one could ever want. But he's fighting. I mean, talk about a really, really dedicated ship here. Both of their sh both of our ships, the enemies and ours, just so damn dedicated. He's fighting to the very end. Another explosion there. I'm hoping this could be the killing blow. I really am. And actually, Atago is in a really good position, too. Uh, the only thing I'm going to switch is Takao. Luckily, he hasn't taken many hits from that ship, but I'm going to actually switch fire over to this guy. And we're going to have to determine what ship that is. There's no way in hell that that is the, the, um, the Dakota. We've got the Dakota, but it is going to be some sort of light cruiser, I think. I'm going to do my best, guys. Again, I'm not so great with these. But let's try and switch... Some sort of light cruiser. Okay, we'll take the Atlanta. I don't know if that's what it's going to be. Let's take a look at our target solution. It's not bad, but this is for the South Dakota. We've got to stop our, our target solutions and switch to the Atlanta. No, it's bad. <laughs> it's real bad. Um, we'll switch to Starshell Rounds pretty soon. 
That ship is still alive. How in the world is that happening? All right, we could fire torps now. Um, we're gonna have to turn, but we can certainly fire torps to finish them off. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just do a hard turn at speed. Really, really trying to catch him, as you can see here. There we go. That's looking real nice. And I'm hoping two should be the killing blow here. There we go. South Dakota is sinking. No need for the torps. What I will do is I'm going to actually set a path. Save myself a little bit of work. And just go straight this way. I want to do the same thing with the Kadishima, but I want this guy to clear the way first. And what am I talking about? The Kadishima isn't moving. She's staying in the water the whole damn time. Let's take a look here at the South Dakota. Wow. I am really happy with that. Now, I'm going to be even happier if we get out of here with the Karishima alive. I'm going to be extremely happy. And it does look like they've got some stuff under control, but you can see the flooding got too serious. Yeah. And the Karishima receiving mortal wounds from the South Dakota and going down. All right, folks. Hopefully, we've got the right target here. I don't think so. First things first, we gotta get those star shell rounds. And what we could really do if we wanna be extra Japanese is we could get extremely close there and try to fire some torps. That's that's an option. Stop. So right now he's running at neutral. He's not going left or right. It's definitely not the Atlanta either. <laughs> um, but that's the best I can get. I mean, that, that's the best I can guess. And it looks like, look at that. Target solution is increasing. So I'm just going to keep firing those rounds. Why stop what's working? Come on. Twenty-eight percent is not great. It's definitely not great, but we're gonna have to take it. Uh, I think that's enough star shell rounds. Switch to AP, and maybe even high explosive would be more appropriate here. And this is where I struggle, of course, because I think to be good at this part of the game, well, you really need to know your ships, right? Like you can't just wing it and and kind of guess the ship. The South Dakota, we knew at least, but this other guy, I'm not so sure, man. 35% is somewhat better target solution, but really I prefer 60% and over. And we've got to watch these two ships, because this looks like it could turn into a possible collision. We want to be very, very careful. Also, if I get closer here, if I close in, again, we could try to fire those torps. I might try. I'm stubborn enough to do it. in for the attack. Wrong way. Shame on me. Oh, that, that actually dinged right off the command center there. We're turning the other way. There we go. And actually, right now, this also gives us pretty good shots on the enemy. Um, I will go take a look at the enemy target in a second. I'll keep AP rounds for now. Not sure I'm going to keep them indefinitely. But we are moving extraordinarily fast, so I hope this is helping. And yeah, look at that. We're going to have to go back. Gotta fire the star shell rounds. We just can't see the enemy, and if we can't see the enemy, we can't hit the enemy. Though I do like that fire happening. That's always a nice thing. As long as it's not happening to us. Nice. Flare rounds already popping. He does have some fires on board, but it doesn't look like anything too serious. There we go. There we go. It's 
more star shell rounds there. How about a full volley of flares? I think it might get to a point that those SS rounds, if you're too close, you just end up firing them directly into the enemy ship. And I don't know if that's actually useful um, or not. But he's on fire, so that's a good sign. Unfortunately, he's facing us. If we want to get a torpedo shot, we're going to have to turn again. And I am going to. You bet. You bet, guys. You think I missed this? Are you crazy? Agrippa, the master of the offensive? That's what I like to do in games, is just attack like a crazy person. Here we go. I think we could fire Torps, actually, and get a hit. I'm gonna fire two. Ah, uh, yeah. Because of the turning, we're not gonna be able to do it. We've gotta do the full turn first. We are so damn close to this guy now, and he is panicking. You can see he hasn't fired any flare rounds, so it seems that his rounds are just kind of missing. That was a full volley there that just missed our ship completely. That one hit, but maybe just because we were turning. And now I'm gonna, st I'm starting to stop the turn here, guys. And now I'm gonna fire Torps. In fact, I'll make it three, four spread. Here we go. Going at high speed like this, I don't know how effective this this torpedo usage is going to be, but let's let's see. Not seeing the torpedoes. Am am I missing something? Um. We got to maybe turn a bit more. So I'm going to turn just a bit more. We're going at a very high speed. 36 knots. So I'm going to lower speed a bit um, from 36 knots down to about 18 knots. Here we go. That worked. I think seriously one of the enemy's rounds may have damaged some of those torpedoes. Um, wouldn't have been the first time that that's happened to me. See how that target solution is. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. We're going to switch to... I was going to say switch to HE, but now I'm thinking since it is pretty damn strong ship, maybe that's not the right approach here. We might have to get the rear of the ship to fire the next torpedoes, but I think they're going to miss him. I think they're going a bit fast to be able to catch that guy. We might need to speed up. The damage he's doing is pretty significant. Moment of truth. There are the torps. You know what? Maybe we will get lucky. I don't know. Gotta hand it to, um... To the range calculators on the ship if this does hit. I'll, 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 I'll tell you that guy that much. And I wonder if we get out of this battle with probably a tremendous amount of damage. Wouldn't be surprising. That's a hit. Oh, that's a hit. That's a hit. Four hits. Four hits. Five hits. Five torpedo hits, guys. Five torpedo hits on the Atlanta. And she's still moving. I mean, that's, that's the frightening part. Let's jump over here to this ship. Now, he is coming at us, so I don't know how effective Torps will be. Um, I think what we need to do is stop move, well, stop turning left. So now we'll start to turn right a little bit more, although that is a roaring fire, and I mean it. A roaring fire. Look at that. Look at that. All right, let's go for Torps. That one on the left side, we need to turn just a bit more until we can actually fire it. There we go. Looks like two torpedoes. Three torpedoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's looking good. He's dipping a lot, although it could be a high-speed turn. The fact that he can still turn at high speed, though, 
um, with his damage is, is amazing, if that's the case. And yeah, I think it is. Definitely doing a high-speed turn, trying to avoid those torps as much as possible. That's a hit. That's a hit. Looks like the third one missed. So, the turn actually worked for the third, and you can see there, look at that, went under the ship. Unbelievable. What's more un unbelievable is that this guy is still alive. That is amazing me. Another hit? Wow! So that must have actually been from this ship and the Atlanta. That's what it was, was the Atlanta is sinking, guys. And I've never seen a sinking like this. This is pretty awesome. He's going full speed ahead and sinking at the same time. So he's going to end up basically like a submarine, just submerging himself under the water. Unbelievable there. That's what happens when you go at full speed. I just want to make sure we don't crash into anybody with these uh, ships. So let me lower their knots down all the way to zero. In fact, I'll have this guy reverse. Not a bad fight, guys. I really enjoyed that one. And we got to see some proper ship-to-ship -ship combat. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought. Uh, I always do like to hear your, your feedback, of course. And let's take a look at this sinking. I'm actually going to let you guys watch it. Um, maybe not, it's a, not, in, not in its entirety, but at least until the ship is below, below the water here. Before we do that, though, in case anybody wants to leave now, we'll take a look at the report here. And look at that, guys. 70,000 tons sunk. Although with them sinking the Karishima and heavy damage to the Otago, I have to say, this was a tough fight, and I'm not sure if we can call ourselves total victors. Maybe something more like a Pyrrhic victory. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Take care. Have an awesome day. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and please subscribe. We have had the best month yet, and if we can keep this going, I know this channel is going to just grow like crazy. For the rest of you that want to watch The Sinking, I'm going to keep this one recording.